We're about to watch Lillestrøm versus Volerenga in what is regarded as the biggest rivalry in Norwegian football, but we've been here before. In May 2023, Lillestrøm found themselves 3-1 down against their biggest rivals, Volerenga, at the Utility Arena. 88 minutes on the clock. Lillestrøm are trying to find something. They fought back to win the match 4-3, scoring the winning goal in the 96th minute. Surely not with seconds to go. A team 3-1 down. Surely they can. They can. Lillestrøm have taken over. Two months later, Lillestrøm manager Ger Bakker announced he was leaving the club to join Volerenga. It's Mikhail Arteta suddenly deciding to join Tottenham Hotspur. What? Sporting director Simon Mesfin said De Driti Ai, which basically means We had Mariah Carey here in the studio. What I'm curious about, what do you think of her? What do I think of her? Yes. I don't think of her. It may be two degrees outside, but it's about to get very hot at the Orosan. Oh, I, I just love this club. Oh, good morning everybody. I don't know if I'm smiling because I'm excited and I'm a little bit cold. See, that's excessive. It's not that cold. What should I expect from the Lillestrøm supporters today? Much noise, very much noise. I can uh, promise you a good atmosphere and uh, a very good match. This is the biggest game of the year for Lillestrøm. This is the biggest and best match in uh, Norway. Yeah. You, you, can't, you can't get a better match than uh, Lillestrøm morning at uh, Orosen. My name is Morten Galasen. I um, used to be the leader of the supporters club. Now I'm just a maniac. How did you feel when you found out he had just left and gone to Valorenga? I had to look at the calendar so many times to see that no, the 12th of July is not, you know, it's not the 1st of April. It's just something that has never been done before. It will never be done again. Everyone in the world who knows about this derby would think that it would never happen at all. But then you have this stupid idiot who thinks that this sounds reasonable, it's a bit more money. Is that what you think the reason was? You think it was money? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's trying to say that it was the reasonable choice because he had uh, gr the players had grown weary of his style and he can say whatever he wants. We know it was the money. that would say hello to me because of all the support I got on the last video but I feel like a local celebrity I feel like the Norwegian member of ABBA that's pure dedication because really he only needed to stick that sticker at the bottom of that pole but no he thought you know what no let's join them I 
imagine sunbathing on that balcony with all the lizards trying to support. I mean, you're not going to be sunbathing, are you, realistically? What kind of animal are we are we dealing with? This is a bird. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh... Oh, he's left me hanging. Uh... <laughs> Fist bump. That's the players' tunnel. Just below me is the players' tunnel. The players are seconds away from walking out. Look. Yeah, no, I don't know what you said because I'm not Norwegian. In case you were wondering, no, the match, it hasn't kicked off. That's because nobody can see. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that smile says it all, doesn't it? What? It's been two minutes.
watch 90 minutes. This has been weeks of planning and effort to make this as intense as it was today. The fans have done so much to prepare for this occasion, to make it so special, and the players have clearly worked so hard to make sure they won this match on the pitch. Everyone did their job, the fans did their job, and the players did their job. The way the goalkeeper just fell to his knees just then, it was just that build-up of, of emotion and hard work, all just culminating in the perfect final result. Lindstrom got to write the final chapter of this story. It got to be them. They had the last word. This is where it gets really exciting. This is where Norwegian football just comes alive. Unbridled joy. And I know not everyone likes football, but everyone likes being happy, don't they? Even if I didn't like football, I would go to watch football in Norway because you get to be a part of something, you get to be a part of a, a community that really does care about one another. <laughs> If you're wondering what they're chanting, the supporters, they're chanting, bring the players back out. They want the players back out and they want them out now. Ask and you shall receive. about this is that the fans were basically calling for the players to come back out just so that they could have a, a bit of a chat basically because that's what they're doing they're just they're singing to each other it's like a Norwegian West Side Story but everybody's friends that was so good 